charge in this nation, you must pay. Let's just take the ring. <laughs> you're nice, you know. <laughs> oh, yes, dear. I can't give you a date. I don't have an answer for that. I'm a Jamaican man. We're saying Kian Cook. Him is not a Jamaican man. <laughs> Welcome to the countdown. Box cover, this is Latimer and welcome to another top 10 social... Well, it's not really a top 10. I think I'm going to make it a top 8 because only one topic we have been talking about recently. But anyway, we have quite a number of things to get through. So let me just make this quick and snappy and let's jump into the stories. <laughs> the dirty yeah, the berry yeah, the juicy yeah, the scoop. All the things are going on and missing on the news. Tell your sister and your auntie said the corner coming soon. All the drama where you want you for tuning to the youth like yo, hey. Box cover, him cover all the topics like a evening pot cover, mix up blender, all them suck me out. What happened now the week yo? Just tune in, zine. Number 10, new curfew, my still peas. All right, so burritos, for the longest while, the entire Jamaica has been cussing and just waiting for like a moment where we can feel like things free up. So at the moment, we have the, you know, the curfew where it's basically 5 a.m., to um, 8 p.m. during the week and 6 p.m. on Saturday and then no movement on Sunday. So that means like if you cannot get all of your things about the supermarket on Saturday, on Sunday you have to get for hungry or you have to pay the extra, um, the extra fee for go through like seven crave and you know ends and the rest of stuff them. But um, the Prime Minister of Jamaica, Andrew Holness, um, just now um, you know updated the curfew hours and this is what it is now. So I'm saying effective Friday, October 29, the curfew hours will be from 8 p.m. nightly to 5 a.m. the following morning for every day in the week up to 5 a.m. Sundays will no longer be no movement days. This will remain into effect until 5 a.m. December 10, 2021. Oh, Jesus, Pim, thank you, thank you. Thank you. I feel like I've been waiting for this moment all my life and I just want to celebrate. Right now, big up yourself, bro. God, I can give you a little clap, but I wish a little later because everyone knows that 8 p.m. is really 6 p.m. because you know, so most of the business places are going like from 6 o'clock. And that's not giving a little weekend festivity. You can, you know, enjoy. Yeah, yeah, you know, go for a little drink and enjoy yourself. You're reaching by sunset like you're 70 Adventists. But, you know, just so the stuff go and, you know, we're going to just work with it for now. All right, burritos, but let me know. You feel a lot better with these new curfew hours? Sound off below. They should travel and they'll ask me the question. So, Prime Minister, when you think the pandemic will end, I can't give you a date. I don't have an answer for that. But what I can tell you is how the pandemic can end. The pandemic can end when the virus kills off enough people in the population such that it cannot reproduce and be a threat. That is a cold, hard fact. Number seven, Netflix, what is burritos? <laughs> No, there has been so many happening with the whole mobile thing and the cult and the pasta, all kind of bangarang. And everyone has been saying that Jamaica has to be a movie. Jamaica has to be a, a, um, a series. We don't know what kind of show run around this. And this um, episode in the life of Jamaica needs to take place in the form of a Netflix show. So that was happening. I know, say, I said to myself, say, I feel like say, somebody I got to take up the show here. Yeah? Me did feel like I up to Netflix are probably one of the African movie YouTube channel them. They got to take up this moment in Jamaican life and make it into some sort of film. Only for me just to walk gently across the social media space for us to this post. Speaking of Squid Game, Lee Jong Jai, uh, Mr. 457 himself, stars as a pastor tasked with investigating an extreme religious cult that may also be involved with a murder. Get out of right here, man! It's one thing all right, yeah. You know, Manala? I, 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 I. No, me give up. You couldn't could even wait one week, Netflix? Really? <laughs> Mary, just let me know what you think about this soda from below. That you were showing him. So now make up your face and make your face look like when Pum Pum Nana used. You know. Boom. Dad. Oh, Dad. Number six, drink off challenge. Me drunken dance. All right, so, burritos, I do not know who put these two um, brother up against each other, you know, for a drink off this bakla liquor. And um, this is how it turned out. <laughs> Fight it, bro! 
A few moments later. Oh wow, okay, you know, um, yeah, you never ever catch me out of this though. I was never going to try something like this car. Me, one back last Smyrna for me already tipsy. <laughs> Number five, jerk off. Oh, jeez, um, my gosh, no, that, uh, oh wow. Oh gosh. <laughs> anyway, Marino, so this video you know, I saw where they had Jamaicans, you know, like try each other's recipes. So they had a, a group of Jamaican men and they had to taste each other's jerk chicken and then rate it. Boy, oh boy, check it out. So I might be a little bit wrong, but this look like it doing another in another oven. This look like torture. <laughs> Bro, look at that. <laughs> Should I taste this one? No. Should I taste this one? Okay. This one look like you get a bit of burn still. This is the one that been through the fire. Look from this one. Can you see this? That's a big ratty piece of chicken. Hey. You need to cut up them piece of chicken, my friend. No, seriously, you need to cut it up. If it's in a tree piece, cut in a tree piece, and that's all right. I don't know where I'm going to find the flavor because all the flavor burn out. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Mary, so let me know if you actually saw this video. And are you confident enough in your cooking skills for go up against somebody else in this type of style? So enough below. Number four, Triple X Showdown. Magically puff. All right, Mary, so I saw this video on Instagram now with um, Triple X. Um, I don't know what we need for to say. I guess he just kind of um, Jim screeched his way into a performance by rising dancehall artist Diane. Um, and this is how it went. <laughs> Alright, Marino, so let me know how you feel if you did a performance. Triple X did this in the middle of your performance. And ladies, what you have to say about this? Sound off below. Number three, Danar and Sim Soul. My word, my sentence. So, social media personality Danar Royal, aka Mr. Life of a King, was a recent guest on Simon Clark Cooper's very popular show called Sim Soul Session. We, you know, we start having a conversation, you know, like them say, but it wasn't so smart. Mm. I was that go to guy that they, they, I say, sacrificed. I remember we go and post, I'm going to and say, Mommy, we need to come off. We need to come off. We need to come off. Because I feel like. They might kill me. I know what my happy triggers are. So when the negativity comes, move it. I knew never knew I was poor until I knew what that rich existed. No, may I tell you, people, may I tell you, this has to be probably one of the probably the best sim super super. Let me keep on saying super soul. One of the best sim soul sessions that I have seen. It was really good, very engaging, very funny. And in you know, the middle of the interview, I have to mention this moment where I think Danar shoot him shot um, with, with with Simone. And this is how it went. Take a listen. Oh my god. You're yeah, nice. let's just take the break. <laughs> You're nice, you know. Oh, yes, dear. <laughs> no, um, you know what? I, I, I think I'm actually here for this, you know. I think I'm here for this. I mean, Simone, she's very nice, she's very warm, kind of team, and then I'm, I'm seem like a more, you know, out there and loud personality. So it actually, it actually kind of mesh, you know, you need one extrovert, one kind of introvert, them can kind of, you know, pull and pull with each other. I'm actually here for it. You know, Simone Royal, we are here for it, man. I think it's, uh, I think it's very fitting. Mm -hmm. 
DR and SR. <laughs> but let me know, Berridos, what did you think of Danar's um, appearance on Sim Soul Sessions? Did you enjoy it? Sound off below. Number two, Ziddy drops my breadfruit. All right, so I guess what we can call him, social media figure, Ziddy. Um, you know him all over the place. I think him is just probably one of the biggest girls in Jamaica right now. Um, you see him some time ago with him on a beach with a little at, at, at girl. And then now he was pictured, you know, getting a nice little wine up, a little dance. And I guess it kind of took a turn. <laughs> You know what? I, <laughs> but don't want to laugh. I am not going to laugh. Like, I only hope the brother the head back they're good right now. I mean, if you got to take out insurance, funny, because that has got to hurt. <laughs> All right, Berridos, let me know what you think about Ziddy. And um, would you shoot your shot, ladies? Sound off below. <laughs> Very great. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for the growth and um, being on 876 and looking back now, I'm a totally different person. But I learned a lot. I learned a lot and the platform you gave me it was anonymous. So thank you again. I don't know what I'm going to talk about. I'm going to talk about the I'm going to talk about the I'm going to talk about the And number one goes to. The culture in my My sentence, my paragraph, my essay, my bibliotheca. So number one goes to the pastor, Kevin Smith. He's he's dead. When? Who spot our time? Who spot? Like, what? I mean, this has got to be the most bizarre story that I think I've ever heard, like, in my life here and, um, in, in Jamaica. Like, this has to be the story of the year. I think this knock out the pandemic and all kind of vaccine conversation. This is the story that people will be talking about for years to come. This is crazy. It's like this uh, 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 eclipse the Gilbert, the Gilbert moment. This is not. I, I, I just don't even know where to start. So we hear about this, this pastor man and the fact that the fact that he might be actually, you know, having uh, some type of ritualistic type of situation happening inside of his church. Two members were actually dead. Another one after police tried to intervene. Then you hear so many stories day after day. And bear in mind, you know, it's not even one month, but the story then was a pop left, right, and center from the members of his church paying a hundred thousand dollars so them could board his ark, the church, um, as well as to sometimes, you know, you have to be taking off your clothes there, the way that he had all these young men around him holding an umbrella, like so many stories, like from left to right, yet people have to pay a late fee. It was just really chaotic and messy. And um, I remember when he was actually um, brought in by the police, arrested, there was a video that surfaced with him at the police station. <laughs> No, but just at nine o'clock, you have broken at the heart. Rapture is raptus, which is really torture. That is what the rapture is. I come with salvation. I do not come to rape my people of their freedom, of their breath. That's you have to pay in this nation to walk your footprint, foot carbon footprints. If you march in this nation, you must pay. If you breathe in this nation, you must pay. Do you not understand that Pharaoh has built his great house and he is stepping on your necks? Pharaoh tried to bring me down, but I am that I am. All you people of the world, I came to you in this form. I am Slumber Soil, born in Glengough, Isaba, Victoria, the year of jubilee and victory. What? What happened? Oh, hospital, mat. They made my life a mat. I suffered. I bled. Look at me. And it seemed like Sadie Breda was not present like he was just a shell of himself he did not seem like he was very much present and that is what i was saying when i was looking at the video and i was just like this seemed like a something to take him over because 
I don't know. Maybe he's trying to go to an angle to like plead insanity. I do not know. But that video in the police station, it just, woo, it never did a match up. Something was very off, very eerie. And um, I never really play with them because something, you know, so every time I talk about the story, you know me, I've just a couple of prayers and a couple of psalms so I can't stay prayed up. Um, but, uh, hey, hey, I tell you, you know, I have more conspiracy theory than an anti-vaxxer right now. I just saw me stay. <laughs> and so we saw that video you now and, um, you know, many people were speculating and figuring like, why would the police, you know, show such lack of professional like, professionalism to actually video the man like this and, and release it. And in this video, he said a lot of things. He mentioned St. Catherine Peak, um, once again, brought up about the nine saying something about Fira, it was just quite odd and you know on monday morning as he was to be transported to kingston for um as you know to be transported to kingston he met in an accident on church road resulting in his death as well as the death of a um, police officer <laughs> Two vehicles were traveling to Kingston taking two, the two suspects from St. James in the incident last week involving the church leader and another member. They were taking them to the major investigation division in Kingston to be formally charged. About 9.30, we understand that there was an accident resulting in one of the vehicle overturning. That's the vehicle that um, Sir Kevin Simic was a passenger in. At the end of it, he sustained serious injuries and he was taken to the Lindsay Hospital where he was pronounced dead by the doctor on duty. The three constables that were in the vehicle with him, one of them was pronounced dead at the Spanish Town Hospital. The other two are in critical condition and as we speak. What was the condition of the, of the pastor at the time? At the time, did you realize that it was Pastor Smith? He can't hide. He can't hide. But when I touch him, you know, I feel like one heavy burden. One heavy. Like um, something that's raised. Let me look at it. Come over, it's like there's a spirit. Well, well. No, I, I really and truly, that officer, I really feel sorry for right now. I'm a young officer, 26 years old. His name is Orlando Irons, and um, I'm hearing that he's actually a father, very promising member of the force. And I really, it's just so unfortunate that this um, this young man had to lose his life as well as the other injured, other officers involved in the accident who are critically injured. It's just a whole messy situation. And even in the midst of that, people are trying to, you know, speculate as to maybe this was a planting at the system. They wanted to take him down because potentially him have information for people and all kind of things. You know, at 2021, we're in and out. So everybody and their mother have some sort of theory and people are speculate. Walk to the handcuff them. Why never handcuff all kind of things. And <laughs> I, I, I don't even know where, where to even begin. But like, I have certain theories. I have certain things that I have in my in, in my mind. You know, but it's not along the line where I feel like on a system. I more just think that this is something where it's not, it's a different realm. It's a different realm and things are going on in the case here. And that is where my brain is, 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 is more, that's, that is more where my brain is at. Um, and in an even more shocking, well, I mean, even if a shocking twist, in a, more, in a, in a more bizarre twist, um, no, you know, information is coming out that Kevin Smith actually has a criminal past. That the police uh, have indicated to me that they have confirmed that Mr. Kevin Smith or Pastor Kevin Smith had been convicted on the 5th of November 2007 of one count of sexual assault of a male victim and that he served six months in prison and there was also a two years discretionary probationary period as well as probation orders made for some 10 years. Now, I'm sure at this moment, it's going to bring up the conversation, why is a sexual offender list? Why, why isn't it public, I mean, um, so that people can actually be aware of the persons who they are dealing with, especially when people are going to be holding positions like this in society. But that is it to me, I'm going to say right about now, by readers, you know, because I just think, say, Kevin Downs will leave for us, put himself sent on sent forward for kind of reclaim him name, because the little Kevin name the right now, all, all the pathways program, where they want to give back to the kids, them, that's a forgot change right about now, because the branding, it just not do the maths, it not yet, yeah, it messy right now, so just change it to something else okay
call it making a way, not a pathway, it's something else, man. Jesus, people. But anyway, burritos, we've come to the end of this social media countdown. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please to hit the thumbs up button as well as to turn on your post notifications. Now, once you've done that, please to leave a comment down below and let me know what was your favorite part of the countdown as well as to share the video, you know, and to subscribe because I'm trying to head to 3,000 subscribers. I'm know sometimes I'm going to stingy with the subscribe button, but just subscribe. Now, if you want to follow me on my social media, it is at Dutty Bear Show on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, all over. And if you want to advertise within the social media countdown, just shoot me an email to bookings.dottybearshow at gmail.com. Take care until next time, you know. All right. <laughs> The dusty or the berry, yeah, the juicy or the scoop All the things are going on, they're missing on the news Tell your sister and your auntie, said the corner coming soon All the drama where you want, you for tuning to the youth Like, yo, hey, box cover I'm cover all the topics like a evening Pot cover, mix up, blender All them suck me, I will have me not a week Yo, just tune in, zine